photographing smell is pretty hard, but you want to know what's not hard? Picturing what your favorite resort or hotel smells like. We've got our hands on the Aroma 360 diffuser that claims to deliver the same fragrances that you find in your favorite hotels and resorts. But is it any good? We put it to test and compare it to Era and Pura with our honest review of the Aroma 360. But wait a second here. What is Aroma 360? Let's rewind a little bit and let me tell you about this brand. This brand became popular because of their hotel scenting website. They claim to have the same scents offered by great brands like the W Hotel and Ritz Carlton. And they actually do supply the scents to some of those and to other high-end retailers like Porsche and a couple of others. I can't remember. Oh, here's a list right here. Bliss Spa, Orange Theory. And the whole idea is that you can bring these scents to your own home. It's a pretty cool idea. They really play up what's called their HVAC scenting. I am not brave enough whatsoever for this review to do a full HVAC uh, remodel and to put the diffuser in our HVAC system. So today we're gonna be talking about the Mini SL smart diffuser. It's actually not a smart diffuser, it has a remote, but thought I would explain first that this is a company that doesn't just do one diffuser or one product. They actually have a variety of products designed to send everything from a car dealership to museum, to your car, to even candles. So let's dive in as I open up my diffuser for the very first time. I just thought this was really funny. It says delicate instruments handle with great care. My wife saw that and was like, what the heck is that? But I just thought that was funny. But all you have to do is take it out of the box. It's incredibly well packaged, looks really good. Actually would make a great gift if someone you know, likes a certain scent at a hotel, um, but you just take it out of the box and it comes with this really nice and easy quick start guide. Uh, some of the other diffusers that we've tested out are a little bit more complicated. You have to connect them to your Wi-Fi, which involves your phone and software updates, but not the Mini 360 SL. This is the instruction manual, the user guide. It is super simple to use. And in fact, it comes with this cute little remote. Yes, I said it is cute. And I actually really like it coming with the remote because it means less technology, less work, and easy to turn on and off. And so it does have a couple of unique little features to it, unique little buttons that give you different ways that you can time it. Um, but I'll talk about that here more in a second. Then you simply take out the smart diffuser, plug it in, and it's a really nice hefty looking thing. It's got like a little bit of a, what's, how do you say it? Adonized steel look to it. And uh, you plug it in and that's all there is to it. Now, let me show you how to put in your first fragrance. Now, the first fragrance that I tried was called 24 Karat Magic. This is said to be inspired by the W Hotels. It does not appear to be officially licensed, but that is okay. It is very easy to install your first scent. You simply unscrew the top of the Aroma Mini 360 SL, just rolls off the tongue, and it comes with an empty bottle, as you see here. You simply screw off that bottle, and it has a nice little hose to get all of the fragrance oil at the very bottom of it, and you grab the package of fragrance, once you have the fragrance oil, simply take off the cap. I like to put this on a nice solid surface so you don't spill it. I'm prone to spill things. So you take off this top cap and there is actually a little bit of foil that is on top of that cap. And so you can't put it in yet. You have to obviously take off the foil. And so I first tried to peel it off, but I think I ended up just using some scissors here and that's okay. Um, the last thing you wanna do once again is spill all of this fragrance all over because not only are you gonna waste some money, but you're going to 
have something that smells all over the place. So simply put the little hose back in there and screw it on just like you screwed off the other plastic bottle and it fits in there really well. Just make sure that hose is all the way at the bottom of that little jar. That's all there is to it. So we put it back on the Aroma 360 diffuser and screw it in just like the way you unscrewed it and you are just about set to go. All you need to do from here after you screw it in is get the remote. Okay, remember that little remote that I said was super cute? Well, here it is again. It's really simple to use. It's got an on button, an off button, aroma, density, and then some percentages. What's really interesting about the percentages is that it allows you to select different intervals in which it will do less or more. So here's a page from the very small user guide. You can see the options are 23, 35, et cetera, et cetera. 20% says the diffuser will diffuse scent for 40 seconds and pause for 160. And the other ones have varying options from there. I love that it gives you a lot of different options to try. I also love that it has a timer to put the one hour, four hour, or eight hour time on there. So you just click that one time and it'll go for that long and then turn off. I love that. Start the workday, turn it on, click the amount that you want the concentration, then click the time, and that's all you have to do. Now let's talk about what we loved and what we didn't like about the Aroma 360 SL. Okay, first let's talk about what we like. The first thing that we like about it is it's a really great overall design. It's easy to control and you don't need to get your smartphone out to adjust the aroma in the room. The other thing that we like about it is it just looks good. It fits in with our black and white color scheme, which I know we're partial to, but it just looks amazing. The other thing that we really like is this thing really, really works. More on that in just a second while well, it's actually a negative, but it really works. It makes a tiny, tiny bit of noise. Let me play a little bit of the noise it makes for you here. But it's a little bit quieter. I'd say maybe 50, 60% as quiet as the Aero Diffuser, but that's not a deal killer by any stretch of the imagination. Now let's talk about what we don't like. Of course, we wouldn't like the diffuser to make any noise, but that's just part of the deal. It wouldn't make any noise that we could hear if we had the HVAC system. But the two things that we don't like about this are pretty big. One is the scent. If you cannot find a scent that you love for the Aroma 360 diffusers, you're gonna be in trouble. In fact, I turned this on when we were testing this and my wife said, man, do you have a candle or something burning in your office? Because it's giving me a headache. And to be honest with you, it gave me a headache too. Not saying that the scents are bad or anything else, but if you have a sensitive nose, I mean, make sure you use their free sample option to get the exact scent that you want and need. Otherwise you could be left with a $200 machine that only does scents that you don't like. The other thing that we don't like that Pura has, but Aero does not, is dual scent capability. The Mini 360 SL and all their other units only have the chance to do one scent at a time. It's not a deal killer per se, but the ability to switch up scents so you smell them more and you do not have, what's it called, O-Factory fatigue is actually a real deal. So it's good to switch up your scents so you can smell them and you don't get used to the same scent over and over again. But this only offers a chance to do one scent. Obviously you can change them out, but this is a little bit messy to change out the scents very often. Just like the Era and the Pura, it all comes down to scents. If you like the scents, 
that you found on the Aroma360 website, then this is a great deal and I check it out. If you're worried about it, get some free samples from their support. They're super helpful. See if you like them, see if it gives you a headache. And if it doesn't, this might be the right device for you. It lasts for a long time. It's virtually silent and it does a great job doing what they call nano mist spreading. Yep, nano mist, that's what they call it. Just like the era, something very, very similar. It does a great job spreading the scent throughout your home. Now, I would say that both Era and the Aroma 360 SL do a better job of spreading the scent than something like the Pura, simply because they both have a way to spread the scent throughout your home. It's not just a simple warming of oils like is in the Pura. Both the Era and the Aroma 360 push the fragrance out. That's why you hear a bit of a sound on both the Aroma 360 and the era and so they are going to work better uh, in spreading the scent i will say that pure still does a really good job i tend to notice it even when i think it may be out because it does change the sense i do have two different contrasting scents in the pure at all times but once again it all comes down to the fragrances if you can find fragrances you like for the aroma 360 it's probably a little bit cheaper and will probably work a little bit better than something like the Pura. Once again, only one cent at a time is the biggest downfall and you have to make sure you like the scents. If you can get over those two things or those two things work for you, then check out the Aroma 360. I would also just caution you that I don't think you can return the actual diffuser. You can return some of the scents if you need to, but just keep that in mind that you wanna make sure that you like the scents first and that you want your house to smell like that all the time. It's not super easy to change out the fragrances. I mean, it's easy. It's just not like a five second deal. You have to unscrew stuff and put them back in. But if you have any questions or comments about the Aroma 360 diffuser or anything else that we can answer for you, please let us know in the comments below. We hope to see you again real soon. Mm-hmm.